Yeah, so there's no heal in those regions. They kind of have to have Mystic Shot. Let's... You know what? Let's go for it. We're just having fun today. Let's go for it. We're going for 9 to the Nexus. And then we have Unspeakable Horror for 10, or Doom Beast for 10. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last casual Friday deck of the day. It's Random Champions. We have Nocturne and Renekton combining together. So this is the deck that we put together with the two of them. We're going to have uh, some vulnerable synergy. We'll have like Exhaust, Rockhopper, Merciless Hunter, and then of course Nocturne with the Nightfall. Those can all grant a vulnerable to help out Renekton. And so hopefully we are slaying some some opponent's units with uh, with the, the different vulnerables and with just attacking and blocking and things like that. Because then at the five mana slot we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing Rampaging Bakai, and this is a card that I've always thought has been pretty good, but we've just had Ruin Runner, and so it's just like well you got to play Ruin Runner. Now Ruin Runner is a six three instead of a six four, and so I kind of wanted to try a different card, and I think that this card could work out pretty well. We got to slay four units, but you know, hopefully we can do that. Like I was saying, with the different vulnerable stuff and just being in combat, and then this card can really eat up some champions. And with Lulus and Poppies everywhere, you know, like if this has to be like you know, like around five or round six or something like that. But you know, they play one of those champions, you can play your Rampaging Bakai and eat it up. So I'm gonna try that out. We're also gonna play a Raz Blood Maid. Now I'm not all in fearsome. Usually, by usually I mean always. Whenever I've seen this card played. It's been in decks that have are like only fearsome, and they just play all fearsome cards, and then you play this also. But I think it could just be like a pretty decent finisher. And so at seven mana, you get a seven seven fearsome, like that's pretty big. So we're gonna put this in, even though not everything in the deck is fearsome. It should just help stuff out anyway. One harrowing at the top end, one siphoning strike. Siphoning strike helps Renekton level up, but then also just makes these things bigger, which again helps Renekton level up. Ride negation for protection. And yeah, that's going to be the deck. All right, so we got Nocturne, Renekton. We're going to go play our five games over in normal. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we got new Merciless Hunter, not old Merciless Hunter. We got our Merciless Hunter that will die to Mystic Shot. I'm going to mulligan these two and keep the other two. We'll, you know, Whenever you're mulliganing, usually you want to mulligan cards that cost five plus mana. That's a pretty safe um, guideline. And look for cheap cards. Because early on in the game, you want to be able to play stuff, get ahead. Yeah, exactly. Blood Mane's just a cool top end card that can just make trades awkward. Waking Sands is just going to be good with all the vulnerable stuff. Yeah, if magic messes up a card, unfortunately, they just have to ban it. They don't have a good way of fixing cards. Like, Runeterra can just nerf him. Sometimes Runeterra will take way too long to nerf, like we knew that Merciless Hunter was too good since it was the day it was printed. And it took a couple of months. But they get there eventually. Got a lizard and a shovel. Got a lizard and a shovel. I never really understood that. Like, there's not really any lizards or shovels. <laughs> so I don't get it. Yeah, it looks like I kind of have a whole bunch of nothing here. I could play the Waking Sands. Could go with that, but I think I'm just going to... Well, yeah, I we're just going to pass. Go. By passing, I mean the attack. Unfortunately, right now, like, all of our stuff is Nightfall, so we kind of need, like, this Waking Sands to enable the Nightfall. But then that's just kind of wasting that card. I'm 
just gonna play Doom Beast and not get the drain too. Cause I can't just you know, pass and not use any mana again. Rat says they gutted Shurima. Let's hope they buff Mono Shurima in October. It's my favorite deck. And that's okay. So that's kind of the problem is that with Shurima, they just had a few cards in Shurima that were um, too powerful, that were just you know more powerful than others. But it just wasn't a very it wasn't a very balanced region. So they could have had uh, what what would have been better is while they're like nerfing. Merciless Hunter and Ruin Runner and stuff like that. If they were buffing up other cards in Shurima at the same time, I would have liked to see that. To instead of just hurting the region and not helping it at all, it could do a little bit of both. Let's see the argument of not even doing this attack of just only attacking with the Nocturne. That's a fairly strong argument. The reason to attack with the Doom Beast is, you know, it gets 2 out of 5 for Nocturne level up, but getting to all 5 for Nocturne level up is going to be pretty difficult anyway. Oh, I guess it would it would have me slay a unit. That would be the other reason, is because we need to slay stuff for the Pakai. I'm thinking that they're going to want to attack with our Endless Devout anyway, and we're going to be able to block with the Doom Beast. Like, we're going to be able to make that trade, I think, like, probably this next round when they attack. But it just, that's one round later, so it slows down the Sarcophagus. An additional round. Mayor Emanuel said Mono Shrima isn't getting buffed. Riot said it doesn't want Mono decks to be competitive. I can't possibly imagine that that's a statement that Riot put forth. I don't think there's any way that Riot would ever say anything. Like, why would you not want... Like, what's the downside of having mo Mono region decks competitive? Like, what, what kind of downside is there at all? Just why would you have that stance? Why would a company have that stance about their game? It doesn't make any sense. Makes that a 4-4. Yeah, I mean, that's ab that's absolutely a false statement. There's, there's no way it could be a factual statement. Mm, I want to play Unspeakable Horror. I just want to cast it. Instead of wasting mana. I think Aphelios is really good right now. I think you want to play Bandle City with Aphelios. Or Nami with Aphelios. Either Nami or Bandle City, one of those two. Yep, Aphelios Zoe with Shellfolk. That's my favorite way to play Aphelios. So this music is from the board. Each individual board has its own music, and this board has some really cool music. Hey, Atreus. Hello, hello. Twisted Aphelios? I think you can do Twisted Aphelios. Twisted Fate is well positioned against these Lulu Poppy decks, and, uh, and with new... Um, new, what's his name? New Make It Rain? Being two mana again? You can do that. Alright, old 7-7. Seven, seven. You'll just have to sit out there. I don't know when the next patch is coming out. I do not know. Um, there's a chance it's next week, which would have been two weeks after the original expansion came out. I, I'm not sure. Ziggs! <laughs> Ziggs is really cool. Think about going Rampaging Bakai plus Unspeakable Horror to try to kill Ziggs. Yeah. 
No, I don't think Xerath needs any buff. No, I don't think so. You could, like, just buff up Xerath's health, like, one. Like, that wouldn't, that wouldn't necessarily be bad. It could be, like, a 3-4 instead of a 3-3. Three, three. But it, it's fine. We've kind of seen with, like, the landmark stuff, it does take a little bit for... Like, it takes a little time for the, the landmark cards to... You know, like, they're not, like, necessarily easy to build around So like... You know, day one, day two, day three, you already have like really good competitive landmark decks. We've seen that with the other landmark cards in the previous expansions, also. But just because of that, I don't think that it needs a nerf exactly. I did not pay attention that this was lethal. Yeah, that, that's lethal, no matter how I block. Hmm. Good game, opponent. I need to play the Onlooker, of course, for a blocker. I was talking and did not pay attention to that. My bad. Lulu Poppy. Alright, we hadn't been playing against Lulu Poppy too much today. Only second or third time to play against it. We'll keep our ones. So that was my bad. I, I needed to, you know, play the onlooker and block with that. I didn't quite realize that my Nexus total was that low. Such is life. My opponent had some very good, uh, they had two really good cards that helped him out there. It was the uh, deal four to my Nocturne and stun my 7-7. Seven, seven. That play was awesome. And then the Desert Naturalist blow up the landmark and then get a 5-4 and a 5-3 together. That play was awesome as well. Yeah, congratulations. You're playing the most popular deck. You have one of the best cards in Pokey Stick, and you played it. Good job. We are united. So now Merciless Hunter does die to Fleet Feather Tracker. We want to play the Hunter. If I save all the spell mana, you know, we could go like Sand, Sands, and Hunter next round. Actually. Watch your head. Maybe I just do this before they're able to play other multi region allies. Maybe not. Maybe I should have played Nocturne first. Would you say that Katarina is a champ who, if they buff or re rework her without being careful, she may be a frustrating card to face like Lee Sin? No, I don't think so. I think they're going to be a little different. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't, that, this round did not work out for me. That wasn't a good play by me. I need to play Hunter or Nocturne, one of the two. Um, what I would do with Katarina, I think they could buff Katarina just slightly and make it a little better, but not make it, you know, overpowering or anything. I would just make it to the level... Yeah, that's always annoying. To have vulnerable. You? Sorry. I would make it so the level... The level 2 of Katarina just also costs 3 mana. That would not make Katarina too good. Loud and loud. And I think that that would just be just that would just be a nice little buff. Yeah, exactly. I think just get rid of that increase of cost. There's no other champion increase the cost. It's not necessary.
It's gonna be impossible to ever level up Nocturne. If they have another sharp sight that kills Nocturne, you know, oh well. We have a couple backups. Still have just as many cards in hand as I do. Tenor of Terrors are pretty good. That's not bad. Getting two bodies for one card. Hey, Hamster Bump. Okay. Yeah, you could turn that. You could definitely turn that Vagar Garen deck into Vagar Lux. That can certainly happen. Um. My opponent loves to emote. Maybe that's alright. Maybe they're just having fun. It's good to have fun. Having fun's a good thing. Okay, so Unto Dusk has to be Nightfall to activate another Nightfall effect. Like the Doom Beast effect. Keep all three things alive. Wow. Well, that's not so great. Like dead dead though. Game's not over. Quick hands make quick work. So what if I make the two three power things can't block? I have Renekton challenge the two two, so we do four overwhelm damage, that puts them down to six, attack with everything else. 
they have to block two things and then go down to one. I wish I didn't play this rock hopper first, kind of, but I guess playing the rock hopper first makes them not play other stuff. But I wish I could play this waking sands. So if I do that, we kill that, that, that. They go down to one. I, I, I mean, that sounds pretty good. Assuming no spells. Your own Let's make yes, they can definitely buff Katarina, and Katarina would not be too good. Yes. Okay, so that's still putting them down to one. Man, the opponent's drawn pretty well. Good card. Because we shouldn't die from this attack. That did not make any sense to play that first, right? Knowing that I have Waking Sands in hand. That couldn't have made any sense to play that first. So we... Hopefully this other Renekton can win the game for us. We need to make sure it can do one Overwhelm damage. Which means we need to get damage on this Aloof Travelers or just anything else with 4 health. So a lot of these things are going to have 5 health. Okay, we'll just do these things. Okay. So, dead, 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 dead. Take 5, take 6 because of impact. I think we're going to get this. I think we're going to beat Lulu Poppy. Yeah. All right. One and one. Nocturne Renekton beating the most popular deck in the format. Okay, we got Poppy Fizz. Fizz Poppy. It's a little different. They got Noxus as the other region. I'm not expecting too many Noxus cards. I'm expecting this to be a mostly all Bandle city deck. I wonder if they're playing the Bandle tree, maybe. What do we got for Noxus also? Anywho, Doom Beast is gonna go and keep the rest. The Rampaging Bakai we had last game was pretty good. Yeah, okay. Dapdos here in chat says it's a Bandle Tree deck. I was kind of thinking too. What kind of Noxus cards do you think they're playing? Oh, this is the most updated slash competitive version? Interesting. I, I haven't seen it yet myself, so I, I'm not sure. A house Spider. Oh, Spider's great with Poppy. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton, right, Arda? Why don't you say Raz instead of Ryarda? That's right. Ryarda. Raz. Love. Um. I don't know. More Nexus damage or kill the two one. I think I want to go this route. I want to slay stuff with uh, rampaging Bakai. I want to slay stuff. So this stops all skills, like spells and skills. So that does count the Bakai. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. So if they attack, attack with Poppy, you can block with the 4-1. Oh. 
screwed. Probably not gonna have a zero cost spell, right? Probably not. Alright, if they played something else, I was going to have exhaust, but they didn't play anything else, I'm going to play this thing. They could, of course, now play something else. Ugh, now House Spider. Yeah, they're playing Ravenous Flock, that makes sense. Ravenous Flock's pretty good. Exhaust does match up well against Fizz. You something. No, my Raz! Raz Mataz. Onlooker. I figured I didn't need to kill any of these with the Bakai, but. Maybe I do. Maybe I should just slay that thing. Yep. got some good options here depending on what we want to do let's move it like this these are all fearsome attackers that would, that would represent lethal which I should have these two switched, right? Like, I should have Fizz with the 4-3. Yeah, I should have those two switched. That would be one additional point of damage. Which, one additional point of damage looks like it could have mattered. Potentially. I, you know, I, I switched those and then took too long to do anything else, but... Hopefully the Unspeakable Horror will get us there. That's, that is always one of the best things about Nocturne is you get a very good champion spell. I'm going to go ahead and play an exhaust first to enable Nightfall because there are other good Nightfall cards that drain like a Doom Beast. Alright. That will do. Two and one. For good old Nocturne Renekton. Nocturne Necton. Alright, Caitlyn Swain's gonna be facing Nocturne Necton. I do like Unspeakable Horror against the 2 1, right? They have the 2 1 elusive. Unspeakable Horror can be decent against that. Quicksand's actually pretty decent against Caitlyn, but I think I'm just gonna send it all back. Look for some units to kind of get us started. I guess it's good to draw cards before they get flashbang traps or whatever they're called. Flash bomb traps. I got something special for you. As I live, all will die. That's a lot to die. Hmm. Why 
are you yelling for NASA's help? I don't think you don't even like NASA's. NASA's ain't gonna help you. Would you look at this place? We may have a pretty sweet the harrowing later on. Flock they discarded. We're not really slaying nothing, though. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. This is tough. Attack for four or pass. I kind of want to pass because then they waste five mana. Like, right, like, I attack for four, then they play Swain. I guess that's worth it because we are, you know, we do have Harrowing and stuff. I guess that's worth it. And then that gets me towards that Renekton level up. Like the Renekton art. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, regular Piltover Peacemaker. Here's my calling card. Tear them apart, piece by bloody piece. Split them into threes, boss. So we're attacking into the seven-seven or nah? We do have the quicksand for the quick attack. Oh, Neverglade Collector is always good. One step ahead. They both have two health. I'll just block with the Renekton because, again, you know, it's at uh, 4 out of 12. Now it's at 8 out of 12 for leveling up. Play another Raz. Nah. And this puts him to six. It's not like six kills them, then they play Leviathan. Alright, we'll ride negation. Get a good three for one. Whatever card they discarded with the get excited. Yeah, let's go Red Necton. Alright, only one card left. Oh, that's a great one card to have. That's a great one card to have. Skarmada. I think we can take three. I think we can take three. We'll keep the sand out of them. Go get him, Raz. That'll do. Double Raz equals a win. Another good win for Nocturne Renekton. Another Caitlyn deck. Teemo Caitlyn probably going to be a much tougher matchup. My last opponent didn't have a very good hand. Just had nothing but removal and didn't do very much. Not expecting that to happen again. I'm going to I think I'm going to play Onlooker on round 1, I think. Oh, well, we don't have the attack token round 1. Never mind. Oh, yes, Treasure Seeker, perfect. You don't like the new Teemo art? Yeah. I liked the old I liked the old Teemo art, especially the old Teemo level 2. I liked it, how happy he looked. This one, you know, he's still smiling and stuff, but it's kind of hard to see. And That would have been nice if the old Teemo art was at least a skin that you could have, that you could change. Like, I'm surprised they just got rid of the art completely. They would have to change the border, you know, because they'd have to add in the Vandal City to the border. Rox Fear with the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Rox. 
You rocks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lame. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I... I waste the vulnerable from the Merciless Hunter by playing it now, but... I still... I want to play it. Wait till next round, we go Waking Sands, Doom Beast, Onlooker all together. Maybe we just do that. You like Sejuani Teemo more than Caitlyn Teemo? Sejuani is an incredible champion. Most definitely. I imagine they, they have like a pokey stick. Like if I challenge with Onlooker, they pokey stick the Onlooker. Obviously, they can still have Mystic Shot. But they can only Mystic Shot one of these. We're going to be killing at least one Peddler and doing six damage to them. Okay. Which I should challenge those. No, I had to challenge like that. Never mind. Okay. We good, we good. I wouldn't mind them playing a Teemo into my unspeakable horror. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. We love it when they run! One step ahead. I really hope we don't draw a flash bomb. Finding details is my duty. Oh man, really? Now I have the quicksand? For Caitlyn? I guess I should do those the other way around. I don't want to have them be able to strike with Caitlyn at all, like if I attack in. Well, they're not playing Frelly or to like Frostbite or anything. They don't play any Nexus healing, right? They could have another Mystic Shot. Because I'm considering going quicksand on this 4-3 and then trying to have it so my two fearsome units... If I kill them. But alternatively, alternatively we just play the, the long game. And go like this. Yes, yeah, so there's no heal in those regions. They kind of have to have Mystic Shot. Let's... You know what? Let's go for it. We're just having fun today. Let's go for it. So we're going for 9 to the Nexus. And then we have Unspeakable Horror for 10. Or Doom Beast for 10. Pokey Stick? Yeah! Just a, just a little Pokey Stick. Alright, that's 9 damage. You know, sometimes you just gotta go for it. I was kind of thinking, you know what, we're probably not gonna be that great in a long game against, like, the setup and everything. So let's just go for it. We were so close to leveling up Nocturne also. We got four out of five. So close. Are you reporting in for an unspeakable horror that you witnessed? So 
And that's going to be a 4-1. What a gift for Renekton. Four wins. Great record. All right, so we got there with Nocturne Renekton, even with the Merciless Hunter nerf, even with the Ruin Runner nerf, so we played Rampaging Bakai instead. And the Rampaging Bakai was pretty good. You know, it kind of did its thing. Um, we got to play Raz in two games, I think. And just a 7-7 seven -seven is just incredibly huge compared to all the other stuff in the meta these days. Quicksand was doing its thing against, like, Caitlyn and against Elusives, like Lulu buffing up an Elusive. So Quicksand did pretty good. And then just all the vulnerable, you know, like you just get to control combat all the time. So like you tell them like you have to block these things or, you know, when it's your turn to block, you can block whatever. But then you can also be like, well, you can't block these things because they're fearsome. Fearsome plus vulnerable is a nice combination, right? You take like the things that could block fearsomes away. It's a good little combination. All right, but there we go. That's Nocturne Renekton with the 4-1. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, you know, if you play it yourself, you know, if you're looking for a Nocturne Renekton deck, you know, feel free to give it a try and let me know how it goes for you um, or anything else like that. Let me know how you like the random champion casual Fridays. Hopefully y'all enjoyed them as much as I did. That was fun to play. All right, but that's going to be it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.